In a profile published by The New Yorker on Vice President Mike Pence, it was revealed that President Donald Trump joked that his running mate wanted to hang all gay men. Reporter Jane Meyer reported a meeting that took place between the president, vice president, and an unnamed legal scholar, where Trump reportedly said that no one should ask Pence about gay rights. Don't ask that guy, he wants to hang them all. Trump joked, the article reported. While it cannot be confirmed whether such a meeting ever took place or whether Pence ever made such a disparaging comment about the LGBT community, there is no denying that the vice president has never openly supported gay rights as part of his political agenda. The CEO of Glad Sarah K. Tellis tweeted the following statement after the report in The New Yorker was published Here is a look back at five times Pence stood against the LGBT community opposing anti discriminatory laws against the LGBT community. Although Pence did not make hard hitting statements regarding his views on the LGBT community during the 2016 election, campaign, he made his stance on the particular subject more than clear during his previous attempt to run for presidential office. Congress should oppose any effort to recognize homosexuals, sick, as a discreet and insular minority entitled to the protection of anti-discrimination laws similar to those extended to women and ethnic minorities, his 2000 election campaign website said. Standing against marriage equality Pence has never stood for marriage equality in the United States. When the Federal Marriage Amendment was introduced in 2003, Pence was one of the people who signed it knowing well that the bill categorically restricts the institution of marriage to something that takes place solely between a man and a woman. President Donald Trump allegedly joked that the vice president wants to hang homosexual men. In this photo, Pence speaks during a campaign rally for gubernatorial candidate Ed Gillespie, RVA, at the Washington County Fairgrounds in Abingdon, Virginia, October 14, 2017. Photo Getty Images slash Sarah D. Davis